Hello everyone, another fantastic magical morning and today we're gonna play another standard event trying to farm some packs and gems and uh, the video that was released yesterday actually was prepared I think almost a month ago, no, three weeks ago when I was in Ireland and I generally don't want to release a video unless I have a second one planned so now I am on the other side of the earth. I am in the Sunshine State in Florida. I'm gonna take the USMLE in uh, two and a half weeks. Haven't started studying yet, so we'll see how that goes. And uh, yeah, so now we're gonna play some more magic to try to not go completely insane. And the deck we're gonna play today is going to be Yar Pirates. So Pirates is kind of fun. We have some really, really fun cards from the previous set. And from this set, we don't really have much besides, you know, Case of the Filth ca uh, blah, 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 Falcon. So what does it do? Well, it's a uh, one blue mana and just battlefield investigate and you get an artifact, which is very good for this deck. And then uh, when you have three more artifacts, you can solve it and you sacrifice it and you put four Psalms of Counters on target non-creature artifact, it becomes a 0-0 bird creature token, a creature with flying in addition to its other types. So this is another good way to just get some artifacts into play. We have artifact synergy, you know, with Goblin Tomb Raider, with also Captain Storm Cosmium Raider. So generally this is, um, you know, this is more of a Lost Cameras of Ixalan kind of deck, more so than uh, was the latest Murders of Carlo Manor? It's been so long, I, I keep forgetting that. Oh yeah, we have this card too. I keep forgetting that the, the, this, we have a new set soon, and the Outlaw or something. And the cards look really good, so I can't wait for that. Next card is just a deuce, two mana draw card, investigate, you get another artifact, love it. The card I'm very excited to play here is going to be the Belligerent, which is not a new card from the latest set. Four mana, five, five vehicle, whenever it attacks, create a treasure token. Until end of turn, you may look at the top card for your library anytime, you may play lands and cast spells from the top of your library with a crew of three. I think it's really cool. Uh, and I think Breaches is obviously very, very cool, and um, Scooter is cool. This deck is more, it's a its a janky deck, but let's try to have some fun, all right? So with that being said, let's go to the first game. Okay, we get to go first, and we have a lot of tap lands and no pirates. Fantastic, but I think we can get some of this working, hopefully, against Lou88. Don't kill me, please. So let's get a tap land out and pass turn. And uh, yeah, hopefully we draw some creatures so we can get the subterranean and oh no. This deck still sort of lives some. <laughs> well, we're going for pirates, obviously, and uh, I'm actually just going to deduce, I think. Because we don't have a creature, if we don't necessarily have a creature next turn. Uh, that can crew up the scooter. Sure. Companion is always as fun as ever. Cool. And, yep. So we're gonna do, we can deduce and then we can use the glyph on the token. So that's always nice. And we get land at least. That's also pretty sweet. But I think we go with the glyph here anyway. He might have, of course, the stupid, um, uh, ossification. He's not gonna block here, just let it go. But at least we get to discover a little bit then. And then we're gonna take four. Unless he has another green mana plus another generous visitor. That's another green mana. And that's another generous visitor. Don't have the ossification. Okay, thank god. It's not much better. God, weaver. God. Weaving my pubic hair rather than doing this. Sure. So we're gonna take six. Ow, ow. Uh, Tomb Raider is pretty cool. Hmm. I think we just go with Breaches plus the Tomb Raider. And yeah. I think we, we just race him. He doesn't have any life linker. So what do we want here? I think Treasure is the only way to go. We don't really care if he blocks. And yeah, he's not gonna jump here or trade. So take seven. Next turn, we can attack with both breaches and the Tomb Raider, which you know we can get two effects, keep him from blocking with one, 
and then yeah it's just gonna take it cool and keep in mind breaches has first strike so yeah throw away your minion he doesn't have ossification he would have played it last turn there's no way there's no way that is a pain in the ass naturalist is not fun to play against hopefully the ac is not going to leak too much into the microphone could be unfortunate Audacity, sure. I mean, this is the problem with. Oh, he doesn't have any more green mana for the Weaver. This is the problem with, you know, no rotation. I've played against this deck for so long and it's so boring. Okay, he's just gonna die. First strike, baby. He gets to draw a card. So if he gets ossification, I guess we're pretty fucked. <laughs> cool, down to two. It doesn't have anything. Alright, so it's game over. We just activate you, and we attack, and uh, we just make the naturalist not be able to block. We could also, you know, find a lightning strike on the top. <laughs> you don't block, psych. See if you get a lightning strike too. Never lucky. It'd be so cool. Either way, take some damage. I mean, if Pirate is beating the Celestian Chapman deck, I mean. So then Shaman deck's gonna need some therapy. Okay, we get to go first, but no red mana. That's a no. This is not much better. Well, we do have more mana, but one is tapped. Don't have a one drop anyways, so it doesn't really matter. I think we will just keep this then. To do such a cool card. Whenever you are ready, Ferras McNooks. Lightning strike gone, we don't need two of them. It would be nice to burn. I swear to god, man. Those hobbleses are slower than Horlon Schultz's. God damn. God fucking damn it, dude. This is the reason. Like, you take a break from MTG Arena and you play and you're like, oh, okay, this is why. This is why I quit. Well, I didn't really quit, now, did I? I am back. Well, let's get the tab line out and see what uh, those hobbles are playing. Gotta remind myself to make some effects in there. Editing is always fun when you set yourself up in the, uh, in the past. Esper is going to be a bit annoying. Usually as an auto concede when I play jank deck such as... This is a jank deck. This is a jank deck. Uh, so no thank you. And we pray that he doesn't have a cut down. It doesn't matter actually if it's in the ward. Uh, no thank you. God, the subterranean scooter is so good. So we're playing the latest set here, Lost Cairn of Ixalan. We're not playing Murders of Carl Manor, even though we have one card in we have deduce. So, you need... You're gonna kill... What the... Who, Golgari, four color? So what, is that some angel deck? With Atraxa. Go for the throat. I'll put something in your throat, Hobbuses. Hobbuses. Well, we can keep on hopeful. Pray that we get a land here. Crew up. Yarg! Attack. Nice. Look at that. Never punished. What else do we get? A few moments later. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna stop with the voice. It's not fun the first time. Definitely not fun the three thousand, three thousand, three thousandth time. Tranquil. Oh, you bitch! Not my scooter. No. Painful. Well, now we're getting all lands, huh? Uh. I think we just go with the belligerent here and attack. Make a treasure. I mean, I don't really care if he blocks. First strike, baby. Cool. All right, well, it's down to 10. I mean, this is what happens when you actually push for damage. 
god, I had... I played pickleball, if you guys know what that is. With my fiance outside, and uh, she... I got so... No! No! No, moving on. Uh, pickleball, and she made me put sunscreen on, because I'm paler than a fucking snowman. And it went in my eyes, and now it looks like I've been crying all day. Not that my life doesn't mandate that I do cry every day. Yeah, I really like my ship. Fucking asshole. Okay, let's just... I'm not taking damage from you. Get lost. Consider your balls shocked. Are we just getting all lands now, aren't we? So let's go ahead and use you. Two mana for a man line is pretty damn good. Just is it is just so shit. <laughs> That's why you don't play it. Let's do this. And I'd like to make sure you don't block. And uh, no. I want another belligerent. And we'll leave it at that. Man, we've been flooding here quite a bit. With a uh, aggro, maybe no. It's not. This is not even slightly mid range. And what is he plays? Just is there a ley line coming down? Sometimes foreshadowing is relatively obvious. Just attack. I'm gonna make sure he can't block. He doesn't. Okay, it forces me to keep on making sure he can't block. There's the ley line. Yeah. Well, I have deduced that. Oh my god. Give me something good, deck. F*** you too, deck. Give me something good, deck. Why are we still here? Just to suffer? You are... Give me something good, deck. Well, I guess I can play it. Nice. One, two, three, four. This is a lot of lands. I'm playing like 22, I think. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, sure. Just kill it. It's fine. Didn't want it anyway. Uh, I'm just waiting for that track. So it takes his thigh slapper and just end it. Thank you. Let's see what we find here on top. Yeah, I'll take that. You out. And uh, now he's out of removal please so we're actually playing against domain domain it's not fun sure and he doesn't attack with his frill back he's, he's, he's okay sure my turn you out and i think we just do this we could also make a treasure and attack then you can't block then you kind of waste it Instead of using, or we just go look for the draw and see what we get. We can exile on top of for library, or we activate the land to make sure you don't block. I think we just attack here and uh, exile on top. Surprise, motherfucker! Never lucky. Yeah, kill it. It's not like I needed it. Can't even fucking play it. There it goes. Sure. Go for it. Yeah, sure. That is also nice. Just draw. Keep to do that. He draws some land. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Actually, more land than the fucking domain deck. Playing pirates. Well, we use you at least. I'm not green. If Christ. There's an IQ depend. Oh, belligerent, please save me. And uh, we attack. See if we get something on top. And it is. Should we be surprised? <laughs> but we didn't play land, so it's not too bad. Yarg! Pirate! Can you use you? Hey, good thing we did that. All right, much better. Now give me a creature so I can crew both my ships out and be a proper pirate. 
Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. So he shoots only once. Strange. But we're at uh, six life. I do want to play that angel duck. That qu oh god, the, oh my, the the amount of lands you get here. But we're gonna do this right now. You're like, oh, why are you attacking with that, average gamer? I'm not. Submit you. Actually, no. Wait. Let's go for this, and then use you on you. Because I regretted doing that. I want to attack with breaches instead of the. Uh, uh, Actually, that didn't work either. We should have attacked with a scooter. <laughs> uh, is there anyone here who's surprised that that's a land? Now you know why I didn't play this land I just drew. And what's the next card? Ah, oh, look at that. It's not a land. Hey, it's not a land. Hey, it's not a land. Uh, no. Uh, you can go away. Yeah, put that on you. Actually, maybe we just wait. Because if he sunfalls this whole thing, then we can do this next turn. Or we just do it and the when the Zodic Glyph dies, we get something else. Alright, so that was pretty good. The belligerent, this, this ship is pretty good. He does not have sunfall. Los Abyssos has no sun falses in their hands. It's... Uh, you can just block here, honestly. If he has sunfall, he gets less of a token. But then he gets his other stuff. I don't know. We don't really care. Because if he kills this now, he gets his angel back. If sun falling will kill his angels. That's fine. Is he gonna sun fall? They always have it. They always have some fall. Come on. Just like I always have land. You have it. Maybe you shouldn't nothing. Like, maybe I shouldn't have to peril you. Well, doesn't kill my breaches. And I'll get my subterranean for free. <laughs> well. We got you at least. But I think we have a lot of 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I think we might have him here, don't we? Um, how much damage do we have? 3, 6, 11. So if we make a token here, we crew up with you. Five. Now we have 11 damage. And he's gonna gain some with. We could do. Do it like this. We can't kill him anyway. Do. You. I feel like I've done this wrong somehow. Three, six, hello. No, we have it. We have it. We do have it. Fine. That's cool too. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, cycle that card. We attack. Uh, we make sure he doesn't block. <laughs> this fucking lands, dude. Sure. Oh my god. Well, he's dead at least. I hope this was entertaining. Man, even if we get a bad score, I'm gonna make this into a video just because of this. All right. Third game on the draw with a rather eeny, itsy bitsy bad hand. But I think this is doable. Well, cheers to you, mate. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, okay, that's the end of that. Monred, the janked killer is here too. I'll make sure this one dies as well. I mean, tap land has... We can get our siren out or we just play tap land and potentially have more next turn. 
So we can do a spy glass into the case next turn. The opponent's gonna do his stupid. No, it's not uh, what I thought. That's fine. Three damage. So you out, and I think uh, spy glass plus uh, case. I think we'll do. And then we'll have a good block with the uh, subterranean shooter next turn. Shuta, Shuna. Okay, well, A for effort and putting in a card that's not usually played. Um, let's just block here, it's fine. Cool, that's actually not too bad. So I think we go with you and put that on you. And we do not race. We do not race against this guy. There's no way. Sure, multiple arts. Kind of disgusting. We know there's a monstrous rage waiting here. Uh, but we can at least, you know, try. Because if he puts that on this one, I think we're pretty... Maybe he wants to put it on the swift spear instead. But one monstrous rage will do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So best case scenario, we're at four life. Actually, we can three life if it puts it on the monster. So actually, no, that's even less. Well, monster is there. Let's see if he has a second. If he has a second one, do you have it? I swear to God, if you fucking have it, I'm not. Ugh. No, it's not that. It's, it's probably. Uh, no, that's death. That's definitely death. We can't get through that. Yep. Wow. I've never lost one red before. Okay, we get to go first. That's always a good sign. We have some cool cards. And uh, Sartaris actually got a capitalized first letter. Good for you, mate. Boo -boo -boo -boo. Mold again too. <laughs> Maybe we can push to the third game. That would be really fun. Tap land out. Here we go. Sartaris. What? Was hast du in dein hand? I have no idea if that's correct. Trying to learn. Oh, another pirate. Trying to learn German. My fiance is German. So you out. And now our goblin tomb raider is going to have haste. And for once we get that working. <laughs> For once the artifact, like for once we have a pretty good start. So we're playing against what? What? What is? We, what are we playing against? Sartaris. This, these lands are making me nervous. Okay. Maybe searching for basic land drill needs. Luckily we have a couple. Okay. So we're playing as Azorius, but let's go ahead and try to smash him as fast as we can. With a good solid 8 damage. Bring it up to 10. Pray he doesn't have anything dangerous in his hand. Like, I mean, there's no board wipes. Turn 3 for Azorius. What could be possible? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Possibly have. Wow, did you see that? That was those three lands in a row. This deck loves lands more than it loves me. I mean, how is that a surprise? We could do Larsenist and start attacking. We can put the Glyph also on the boat, which is a kind of cool. Which it's a kind of cool. It is cool. I think we go with the Kite's Larsenist, if you want us. Because he does not have any. Uh, how do you say? Currently doesn't have anything to interact with it. So we do this. Hopefully we draw land. Because that would be nice. And we can play out the case at the same time. Woohoo! We're playing out the case at the same time. Good. So he is... Uh, he has to interact... He has, he has to do something. We can use uh, the glyph on our... Either on the uh, schooner or we just use it on the token. I mean... Okay. Oh, he does that. So maybe he gets what? I don't know. Mm. Have 
you with haste. And I'm sure he's gonna counter. I mean, if he counters, he still takes five. He has to deal with my board. Yeah, of course he has that. Love when that happens. Uh, so we do this. Let me attack because he can't interact because of the ward. You are not necessarily here. Perfect. So yeah, he wipes the board. I play the Larsenist. We attack. He dies. Yeah, it's game over. Let's be a scumbag. Yarg. And uh, actually, let's do this. Just to be fun. It's like, oh, we got the land, but <laughs> we can still win with this land. It's pretty cool. How about you take my scooter up your pooer? I don't know. Still get another land. How funny is that? All right, pirates. Let's sail on. Hey, hey, we get to go first. And this hand is still the tap land, but we don't have a turn. Won't play anyway. Against Fun Cezel 45. He's playing as a 45 year old. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Alright, we're on the play this time. Maybe this can make it a little bit better. So, Merrick's out. Let's get the schooner out. The schooner, the better, right? Ah, <laughs> oh, fuck me. Fuck me. Yeah, three damage to my pass. And oh. And we have more breaches and lands not good. F I'm done. There's no way. If I can get a land start against Monrad at that point, after getting flooded for so many games, uh, I'm just not doing it. Well, we did get, you know, three wins. We did break even with pirates of everything, which is not too bad. Uh, what can I say about the deck? It's a jank deck. I, we got flooded more than we didn't want to be, uh, which is annoying, but. It's fun. If you want to play pirates, you can do it, and you can. It's, there's always a chance you can break even. I don't really know what else I would make changes here. It's pretty. Maybe the new cards from Outlaw Junction. I mean, the Outlaw pirates are outlaws. It should work, right? Outlaws, come on. So maybe it'll get better. The Belligerent was really fun. Breaches is always fun. Tomb Raider is fun. Deck is fun. It's nothing great. Hope you enjoyed watching my second video and uh, hopefully I'll have the energy to make one tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching till the end. You rock. Like and subscribe and have a good day.